Good afternoon, everybody. Today's Monday, the 18th of May 2020. What we got going on down here? Basically, I got a new piece of equipment, we're going to call it today. It's going to be part of my strategy to interdict these damn coyotes. And I'm testing it as we speak. I'm evaluating it, taking my time, taking my time. Beautiful day for it. Hasn't really rained yet, a little bit misty, but uh, overcast, cool, breeze. I'm loving it. Ducks, got a little bit of everything. So uh, what's this piece of equipment I am talking about? Basically, it is this. I am sitting up in a tree, as you can see here. Um, best way I can describe, um, if you're not familiar with this thing, it's called a uh, climbing tree stand. And so it's basically a tree stand that you know you hunt from or whatever. Um, but the beauty of it is the it's a two-piece stand, and I'll probably demonstrate later, maybe even in this video, um, that you use the stand to climb the tree. And it's really interesting. Uh, man, if they had this technology when I was a kid, I'd never be not in a tree. So I just took my time and got up here for the first time. I'm only about I don't know, 15, 20 feet off the ground. Um, we've got some other some safety equipment coming tomorrow that would allow me to go uh, I think up to say 50 feet up a tree um, Why would I want to do that? Coyotes! Coyotes got to go bye-bye and this is their home at night. They're out here This isn't gonna be the tree I hunt from. It's actually gonna be that one over there uh, But that's a big fat tree and I got to do some homework to figure out how to get up that particular tree It's, it's a little bit a little bit too broad at the base for the stand, so I have to get some modifications probably to the stand. And trust me, I will. Um, anyway, I think this is going to be kind of fun. I'm surprised. I thought Dingus right there. I thought he'd be barking his ass off because I'm in a tree and he's not. But he's been really quiet playing with a ball, so it's all good. Anyway, let me shut my ass up and get down out of this tree. And maybe I'll uh, put the helmet cam on and do it one more time just to kind of show you what it looks like. Take care. All right, you guys, let me do a second real quick climb if I can not trip and break my neck. And again, I'm just going to take this nice and slow. But as you can see, just real quick, two pieces. Platform for your feet, if you will, and platform for sitting and climbing, we'll call it. Interesting design because they've got these uh, very heavy gauge steel cables go around the tree on the backside. Teeth that bite into it on both of them. So anyway, let me kind of show you what it looks like. And my back's getting a little stiff, so I'm gonna go nice and slow. I probably should stretch. But uh, so what we're gonna do is try not to make Deuce laugh by falling on my ass. So you can sit on this bar around here. Get my feet clipped into these stirrups down here. We get my feet locked into it. Good to go. Before we do anything, off the ground, we clip into the safety gear with this uh, false oppression gear. And here's what it looks like. You basically, use your feet, pick it up, lock it into the tree, stand on it, give it your weight, pick up the top part, you know, about a foot or whatever. Either lean back, which I'm doing now, or get the down things my feet down there and pick it up. Lock it in. Every now and then you gotta loosen the security strap. Go up a little higher. There's there's a protocol for this. I'm still learning, but I've seen some guys on YouTube do this very, very quickly. I'm not in a hurry. Up higher. The rule is once you get off the ground, you always have to be roped into the tree. Period. Because if you fall, this, is, this whole safety system is what saves your butt. So I'm gonna pick it up a little more. Don't, dude, don't you be laughing. If I fall, you better not laugh, boy. Pick it up. Take our time, pick it up. You know, in theory, you could do this and go infinitely high in a tree. And there, there's all kinds of disclaimers on, as you would imagine. 
on the from the manufacturers on this uh, stand. They're like, you should never be more than 15 feet off the ground because there's no reason to be any higher than that. Like, really? You designed a piece of hardware that's capable of, if you got a 200 foot tree, this thing, you could go, whatever, you could go 150 feet up a tree with this thing. And as long as you, you know, you're using the safety gear like this, what's to stop you? Other than the, the attorneys, right? Stupid lawyers. Anywho, yeah, we're clipped in. A little mo, a little mo for show. I think I'm just gonna go one more. Whoa. I think we're gonna call that good. I'm gonna come up one more here. Okay, we're gonna set this up a little bit higher. Not much. One of the things <clears throat> I gotta do is use this to get up here and do some chainsaw work. And I just called my chainsaw guy today to get a tune-up and they're like uh it's a month backlog can't get a tune-up done on your chainsaw for a month so i said screw it i bought another chainsaw i'm being a couple days anywho so let's call this done get that nice and stable and i'll just finish it out real quick it's called a tourniquet and what you do is you tourniquet the uh upper this is the weight bearing. The, the top part of this is the one that bears the weight as you're sitting down for hours waiting, you know, if you're hunting or whatever. So, what we do, I know they call it the tourniquet. It's not really a tourniquet. Although, I will say, it's got a safety hasp on it very similar to a tourniquet. Maybe, maybe that's why they call it a tourniquet. What this thing is designed to do is to basically put, hang on, it, it locks these teeth right here against the tree. So let's say I was sitting down and I'm hunting and I got all excited and I jumped up and hit this thing from like this from the bottom. See, it keeps the teeth in the tree so you really don't lose control of this upper, which would be which would be bad. The last thing we do, and this is just their design, I'm not particularly happy with this part of it, that bungee cord down there that you use to uh, keep our heels in the stirrups, we reuse that, unsnap it, turn around, get the chair set up. Like a so, it's I mean, it's kind of a cool idea that I guess they give you a piece of gear that you can use in two different places so you don't have to carry two pieces. But I'm not overly concerned with weight on this guy. And I haven't really figured out how this thing clips in yet, but that's how I'm doing it. So, we have a platform to stand on. We're locked into the tree with a uh, arrest, arresting safety harness so if i fall this thing you can't see it in camera but it's designed to arrest a fall without you know without it'll uh, it's dynamic and it's got some technology built into it so it's almost like a bungee cord but it's not a bungee cord but we're not talking about the fall gear at the moment get the seat adjusted i do sit our behind down and i would say pop a beer Uncork some wine. Kick one's feet up. I don't know. In theory, the next step would be to whatever you're hunting with, rifle or crossbow or compound bow or whatever, would still be on the ground on a tether. And when you get up and situate and get all this stuff done, then you just kind of rope it up, tether it up, 
get your firearms up here and you wait you wait for them to come after your ducks and we're talking about coyotes here and bang 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 bye bye coyote anywho just want to show you guys real quick what this thing looks like i'm done for the day that's my second time but like i said i got a stiff back so i'm gonna sit here for a couple minutes and uh head in for the day thanks take care have a good one bye bye all right from this angle of this perspective you can get a better sense for how the two upper and lower pieces are kind of like an accordion going all the way up da -da -da -da, hang out you can see that in a second and then on the way down but this angle gives you a better idea of the coordination between the two halves of the equipment and kind of the body motion to get it to move up and down pretty slick i really like it more to come